Film fans of YouTube, hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh, your movie apprentice, and today I continue my Ghibli watch through and my 200th upload on this channel with Ponyo, directed by Hayao Miyazaki. A five-year-old boy saves a fish from a jar in the ocean, but unbeknownst to him, this fish is magical and is a princess of a sea goddess. Before I get into the review, if you do like what I do on this channel, consider clicking the like button and subscribing to this channel while hitting that bell notification so you never miss any more videos like this. But without further ado, let's get into the review. So, Ponyo. Wow, this was a marvellous, marvellous film. Straight off the bat, I'm going to have to say this film was absolutely marvellous. For starters, the art style is yet another big flex from Ghibli, almost apologising for the bland style of Tales of Earthsea. This film gives us, arguably, the best animated sequence in Ghibli up to date this far in this watch through. I won't get into too many details of it, but it involves water and it's just a glorious sequence. It is beautiful, the intricate designs. Animating water is a difficult task. Any animator will tell you that animating water is the biggest pain in the butt ever. But this film not only tries to animate water, but there's something particularly special with the water and it's just a glorious sequence to look through and they go one step further a bit later on where land and sea are merged and it's just absolutely beautiful to look at. I also love that this film is literally a fish out of water movie. The overriding underlining plot is that Ponyo actually wants to be human after being with the kid a little while and it's very much a fish out of water sequence, but told from the perspective of a five-year-old. So that childish innocence and excitement over the most lacklustre things is adorable to watch. I love the dynamic between our two lead characters in this. It is so much fun. It had me smiling and laughing constantly throughout this movie. It was also very down-to-earth in some of its story elements from... The main character's far being out to sea and the mum not really coping too well with it, but giving us that fun little anime angry at you lovers tiff sequence, which was a great joy to watch. I do also love the anti-pollution measures they take in this one. It is very obvious if you miss it, like I don't know what to tell you. It's very obvious that this was very much a don't pollute the sea, the humanity is destroying the sea kind of film. But it's just an underlying theme that is obvious, but it doesn't overshadow the rest of the movie. This film is all about friendship and bonds and true love and such. It's hard to believe that this film actually has an end of the world plot going off the entire time. It's very underplayed. It's not played in an epic style or anything like that. Because again, these are just a couple of five-year-olds that are friends and will look out for the friend. They don't care about the big, wider implications of pollution or the world ending. They just want to be friends, which I think is a great little touch for this movie. Ponyo herself has to be one of the most adorable creatures I've ever seen put into animated form. Like, whenever she's just staring at her friend, it is absolutely adorable. And I just love her little curiosity she has Throughout this, every tiny, tiny little detail, she just looks at it with the most inquisitive look, followed by the biggest smile. I just love this character of Ponyo. I also love that there's no real villain character in this. There's a character that has a little bit of a villain monologue of how humanity is destroying the sea, but it is very much an afterthought, and this character is actually just trying to do what's best for the ocean. That's all he wants. And there is a gorgeous character design with him, with Ponyo, with the sea goddess. It is all absolutely gorgeous. I dare say that there are certain elements from Moana that are inspired by this film, just by the way some of these shots are done. It just makes a lot of sense that this Disney film, which is a favourite of mine, might have taken inspiration from this movie over here. There's really not a whole lot I can delve into this. It's just a very, very cute movie. It is gorgeously animated. 
Every character has a brilliant, vibrant design. I love the dynamic between our lead characters and all the side characters. Every side character has their own little fun, standout moment within this. Um, just the designs and the way they pushed boundaries in 2D animation within this film is absolutely brilliant. There's literally nothing negative I can think about about this film. This is weird. I love this movie, but what else can I tell you besides the gorgeous animation, the script, the character designs, how Ponyo is probably one of my favourite characters in Studio Ghibli so far. Possibly the best. I think she might have already dethroned Sophie. Ponyo was just such an adorable fish out of water. I just love how they took this fish out of water tale so literally and played it so adorably. It's hard not to crack a smile every other minute while watching this. Also, I have to say, our main character's mother is easily the best mother ever. The amount of mad stuff that happens and she doesn't question any of it. It's brilliant. Like, everyone, I hope you have a mother like the mother in this film because she is absolutely fantastic and is ever supportive of her child. I just love how they tell this whole film through the eyes of these two young children and don't even look at the two overriding themes of the world ending and water pollution because there are some powerful moments when it comes to demonstrating how much pollution there is in the sea and how humanity can bring about the end of the world by all their tampering with the ocean. But it's never a preachy movie. It's just a very matter of fact, like here's a cute story, but here is a serious matter as well to go with that. That's a nice little side to the main meal that is this movie. But overall, I'm gonna have to say that Ponyo for me is a perfect cup of tea. So Ponyo, have you seen it? If you have, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Let me know if you enjoyed it or if you think it's overrated trash. Just keep it civil and be excellent to each other. Coming up on the channel, we continue with our Ghibli watch through. I'm actually gonna struggle now at this point to get all of them done before Erwig and the Witch comes out, but try I shall. Until next time though, subscribe to the channel, click that like button and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you never miss a video. And until next time, my name is Josh, I have been your movie apprentice and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thank you for watching and thank you for making it to the end of the video. While you are here, if you haven't done it yet, please feel free to drop a like and consider hitting that subscribe button for more views coming all the time. And also, while you are here, there are some other videos over there that you might want to sink your teeth into. Have a good day, guys, and do enjoy.